This video covers the basics of programming DNA size selection protocols on the Pippin Prep or Blue Pippin systems. There are two fluorescent marker based methods used for calibrating the timing of DNA fragment collection. Internal standards can be added to DNA samples which allows five lanes to be run at once. For some protocols and all high molecular weight DNA protocols, an external standard is loaded into a single lane as a reference, which the remaining four lanes use to determine the timing of DNA size selection. There are three commonly used modes of DNA size selection. Tight mode collects DNA fragments around a base pair value in a manner that provides the minimum fragment size distribution that is allowed by the resolution of the gel cassette's agarose concentration. Range mode allows users to set a wider range of fragment collection based on a starting and ending base pair value. High pass mode allows users to enter a base pair threshold value and the system will collect all fragments above that base pair value. When planning a DNA size selection protocol, users should refer to Sage Science's cassette reference charts for either the Pippin Prep or Blue Pippin system. These can be viewed or downloaded from Sage Science support pages for the respective systems. These charts provide guidance for which gel cassette kit to purchase, including the reference standard type, run times, gel percentage, and selectable size ranges. On the Pippin software interface, navigate to the Protocol Editor tab. Programming functions are conducted on this page, including creating and saving new protocols and loading or modifying existing protocols. The protocol that appears on this page is the one that will be run by pressing Start on the main tab. The protocol from the previous run remains loaded for users who run the same protocol repeatedly. Cassette kits include a quick guide with details on preparing samples and protocol programming instructions. The quick guide will include a cassette definition file name. Cassette definitions, which are installed on the Pippin systems, provide the software constants to properly run the gel cassette and reference standards included in a kit. To program a new size selection protocol, first press the New button to clear the existing fields. There is a cassette field. Click the cassette folder icon next to the field and cassette definitions will appear in a drop-down menu. Select the correct cassette definition. Next, in the lower left, users must indicate whether an internal standard or an external reference marker will be used with the gel cassette. If internal standards is pressed, the lane number will appear in the ref lane field column, indicating that there is a marker in that lane. If users are using an external reference marker, the lane into which the external marker will be loaded and run must be entered into the reference lane field and then apply reference to all lanes pressed. When entered, the reference lane number will appear in the ref lane field column for every lane. Users will need to pay careful attention to load the external marker into the assigned lane. Users should also note that with long pulsed field high molecular weight DNA protocols, a recommended lane, lane 4, should always be used to run the external marker. Next, the type of size selection and DNA collection parameters are entered. For tight mode selections, press the tight button and enter a single base pair value in the target column for the corresponding lane. To collect a range of fragments, press the Range button. Enter a starting base pair value and an ending base pair value. Both tight and range mode collections can be programmed within the same protocol. 
Note that a range mode setting can be entered that is less than the tight mode minimum. Should this occur, an error message will appear in the error warnings box and a yellow indicator stating narrow will appear in the range flag column shown here. A sub-minimum range will reduce the product yield significantly. High pass collections are entered with range mode settings. Enter the threshold base pair value in the starting base pair field. Even though all remaining fragments will be collected, enter a 50,000 base pair value in the ending base pair field. For high pass plus cassettes, the value is 150,000 base pairs. Once the size selection protocol is entered, users should make sure there are no programming exceptions listed in the error box and then press Save As. A drop down menu will appear into which the protocol may be given a name and saved. Protocols can be recalled by pressing the Load button and selecting a previously saved protocol from a protocols window. When creating a new protocol, or editing a previously saved protocol, there is a blinking yellow light that indicates that the new changes have not yet been saved.